Hi y'all, welcome to the Mighty Bujo. I'm Allison and today we're going to be painting a teddy bear with some balloons for my February cover page. So we'll start out with a pencil sketching and then of course move into painting. And I will have the paint palette in screen the whole time. That way if you're wanting to paint along with me or see exactly how much paint or water I'm picking up, it will be visible. But we're going to start off with a very rough sketch. It doesn't need to be anything perfect because it's basically just given an outline and an idea of where the image is going to go. And when drawing your shape, if you can't get it quite right at first, just go back to where it needs to round out more and draw another line. It doesn't have to be one continuous. For the ears, it's just upside down use and then some big circles for his eyes and a little triangle for the nose and your smiley face it doesn't get more basic than that and then we can just give him a couple little shoulders down here and draw a paw coming up and again if you you're not happy with the shape just draw another line and go back in and erase all your extras when you're done and you got a teddy bear face up here, we're going to be doing some balloons to write the word February in. And I'm just randomly drawing different shapes of your standard balloons that you would see. Like in the hearts, they're typically elongated, so that's why I chose to go that route. Plus, I could fit more in this space. Now, sorry, I didn't realize my book was out of frame while drawing these, but it's such a basic shape, I figure it's okay, and you will see them when we are painting them, of course. Down here, just adding a little definition for his face. Let's clean it up some and then adding the inside of his ears. So now that it's all sketched, erase it, but not completely. You're going to leave a little hint of it behind. And here's a little pointer for y'all that I've discovered. If you're having trouble getting rid of all of those eraser shavings out of your book, especially in the seam of the spine, grab a paper towel. It'll brush out super easy. So now I've started painting this now, and I just mixed some brown and white paint together. And to get it really light, I had a puddle of the brown, and I just pulled out of the edge into the white. So that's how you can kind of control your mixing. And when you watercolor, you want to start with light layers. Do your light color first, and then you can always go in with darker uh, colors or shades on top of it and still have that textured look because it's a lot harder to put light paint over the dark, which some colors is practically impossible. Anyway, here we go. He's starting to get some texture and definition just by going over those areas a couple times and I have to say I'm so happy I finally figured out how to show the paint palette along with the painting that's something I've been trying to figure out from day one so yay I finally got it but that being said if it's too small to really tell what's going on please let me know and I will continue to fiddle with that So now we can give him some blue eyes. And mix up a little bit of pink for the ears. Now I left a big 
petal of red on the bottom because I know I'll be doing red on the balloons and I just need a little bit of pink so that's why I did the red that way anyway I've got way too much water on my brush here and it transferred onto the page which was preventing me from getting that thick rich black so you can actually use your brush to pick up extra water if that happens and to prevent that after you get the pod wet dry off your brush which is what I forgot to do and get all of that excess water out of the pod and then dip directly into the pod you'll notice there was no black on my little palette over there to the left I was going straight from the paint pod so now we can move on to our balloons now I was really excited to learn that Suzanne is going to be doing teddy bears in her bullet journal all month so because I had a couple ideas in fact I have more coming up but Suzanne if you wanted to you could shrink this down I know you've already done your cover for the month but do a smaller version of this in the corner of the page maybe and I bet it would look really cute in fact, I think I'm going to incorporate this into a weekly layout for next week. So keep an eye out for that. I will actually have at least uh, week one and two, hopefully coming up tomorrow or Monday. And I might just throw a week three in with that. I'll have to see how creative I'm feeling. Sometimes I have the ideas and then no time to work on it or I've got time to work and no ideas. So we'll see how it plays out this weekend. Anyway, back to the drawing at hand. If you missed how I got that champagne color, I used that gold on the bottom row, second from the left, and mixed it in with the white. And I love that shade. It turned out perfect. So now it's time to write in the letters of the month. And again, I'm dipping directly into the black paint pod to get a nice thin thick line and unfortunately I forget how to spell February luckily I noticed before I'd moved on decided to close the top and make it look intentional there's nothing I could really do about that tail from the U but to make it again look intentional I repeated the same look for the other R and I think I think it works if you didn't realize I'd done it especially when you're not zoomed in looking really close at the page that little tail on the first R isn't that obvious. And I like the look of the different uh, shape letters. Make sure everything's dry and then go in and erase any lines that are still visible. Using that paper towel, get rid of all of those shavings and it's time to outline it. This part always makes the page just pop. It's those little details at the end that I particularly really love to do. It's fun to see it all come together. And I am so pleased with how this page turned out. It, it gives me a smile every time I open up my book to this. I think my little teddy bear is cute. I do kind of jack up his nose area here in a second with the pen. And I think what I should have done was made his nose rounder and or his face part to where it didn't bend underneath the eyes you can see it so I probably should have I don't know moved his nose down or moved the circle up but anyway I, I think he's still adorable and I'm not bothered by it I'm only pointing it out because you can have the opportunity to fix a mistake that I made anyway and just drawing down a little string so he's holding the balloons and then giving his paw a little bit of definition which looks a little wonky too but I don't care he's so cute so anyway there is my February cover page so be sure and keep an eye out for those weekly layouts I hope y'all enjoyed thanks for watching bye now